Hello viewers. Today I have a small home project I need to do and that is to fix up these rusted spots you see on my dryer. I'm guessing some chemical might have gotten on top of the paint surface and has eaten through the paint and that's why you're seeing these rust spots. Now to fix this you do need to repaint this surface here. So what I'll be using is a product from Rust-Oleum. Let me show you that right now. Here it is. This is Rust-Oleum Appliance Epoxy Paint. You can get this at most hardware stores. This one I have here is the gloss white. If you look on the label, it tells you it's washable and moisture resistant. So it's perfect for fridge or washers. Now when you use this paint, you'll find that it'll come out a bit thicker than your regular spray paint. And also covers very well without using primer. Now there are a couple of ways you can do this job. One is to mask off any area that you don't want to get painted, but you do have to worry about overspray onto other surfaces or onto the wall. Or if you can, move it into your garage and spray paint the damage area. Now for myself, what I'll be doing is removing this top cover that you see right here, and that includes this assembly of the top control panel on the back. Once that's removed, then I can take this into the garage and paint this entire surface. Now make sure you disconnect the power. Right now you're looking at the back of a dryer. Now depending on the make and model, this assembly procedure may differ between designs. On this Whirlpool dryer, I'll need to remove these quarter inch screws that you see right here. Once the bottom screws are removed, you can lift it up. You'll need to remove the Phillips screw on both sides, right here. Next, remove these screws that you see right here, and this whole piece will come off. Now slide the top cover to the front, and there are two tabs. That's at the front here. Lift it up, and this piece is out. With more light in the garage, let's have a closer look. As you can see, the paint here is all bubbled up and there's rust spots underneath. So we need to clean this out. To clean the surface, I'll start off with 150 grit sandpaper, followed by 220 grit sandpaper. Here's a look at the surface after I sanded out all the rust area. I also took the 220 grit sandpaper and roughed up the entire surface so the paint will stick better. Next, I'll take some rubbing alcohol and clean this entire surface. It's time to paint. You want to follow the instructions on the back of the spray can. It tells you to paint it 12 to 16 inches away from the surface. Also, the handle time is about five to nine hours and it'll fully dry in 24 hours. It started raining outside, so I brought it into my garage. I'll continue painting. Now with this paint, you don't need to wait 10-15 minutes between coats. It does come out rather thick. Once you have a nice even coverage, let it dry for five to six hours, and then we'll reinstall it. It's been about five hours now, and the paint is dry to the touch. I've gone ahead and placed the top cover back onto the dryer. Reassembly is the reverse of how we took it apart. Reconnect the power and the hose. And here's a look at the dryer with the top surface repainted. 
As you can see, this project is very simple and also doesn't cost a lot of money. If you happen to have a washer and dryer or fridge or freezer that needs a new coat of paint, I hope you find this video to be helpful. Thank you for watching and remember to click on thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.